Her lips which whisper like reeds on the wind, wet with moisture sprung from a well deep within, whispers like the petals of an iris, the reedy blossom which weathers and is not trodden down for long. Fell Burgundy Iris or Moses Cleveland's Canterbury Tales, Book 7, line 1929. <clears throat> what Master Crass, his mistress, missed, on down his leg he ran like piss. What fruit to squeeze, the dragon's hand doth please. Urine running down his leg, no pardon of which for to beg. The dragon's hand abandoned he with ease. But who would live to tell the tale, the dragon not, by fate to fail? His number up and down, receding he. His means to he to gather forth, but mustard measure in due course. A betting man, the dragon's hand does, doth be. For twisted be the hand of fate, spinning wheel, to be ere late. To stay the dawn by dragon's hand was done. To bet and lose he did thus choose by dragon's hand an evil ruse. But for to dawn the new day yet to come. Near to twist the hand of fate, ever to be a vile ingrate, for master crass attest ere yet to pass. The master crass indeed divest, passed completely he on that test. Divest of grade was subtle master crass. Divest of grade, divest of light, absent brightness for to spite. The raven called ahead from yonder blight. The dragon's hand be but a man, and not a fit one, understand. The dragon dealt with those who he did slight. From up ahead the raven called, to spite hid the musing problem solved. Amused it seemed, its calls a spiteful droll. Bemused not be, Catania fell into a melancholy spell. Behooved, and from the tongue did curses roll. A gusty spate she uttered still, yet from her mouth did curses spill. From her bosom heaved a feller froth. From her mind a warning sang, a headstrong urge, indeed it rang. Her heart enshrouded, nay to skim the dross. Heart enshrouded, mind thus clouded, nay to heed the warning sounded. By her mind it clouded for a time. Bought and sold, no time to tell, what headstrong urges, indeed a spell, what darkness to befall, ere yet to rhyme. Derrick the Brown, indeed from town, <clears throat> with bow and sword and mustard frown, lacking rhyme, indeed he lacking reason. Roving on and for a while, but piss and vinegar, absent bile, absent smile, what beast to be in season. Acts of Mithrax, no wayward jarl, he but the son of grouchy Carl, the wayward drunk debunked, deposed was he. No bunk or bed to fall his head, his kin thus wishing he were dead. No withered hither, sideways all to be. No filter either for to rant, nor buffer for the vilest cant. No stopper to withhold the vilest praise. Was it indeed smoke up the rear, vile platitudes, to be endeared, the opposite of taunts, the ire to raise? For by such rules did nations fall, behooved what fools indeed be all, like goats and lambs but blind before the slaughter. Before the butcher, nay be blind, what darkness fumed within her rind. Bemused indeed was she, the dragon's daughter. In brackets called the raven moor, as wavelets broke upon a shore, distant be and yet to see beyond. Feline and Gangor, Mithrax too, with Derek and Catania drew, their weapons at the antechamber found. The darkness fled ere from a rune that someone tossed into the room, a floor of hard-packed sand illuminated. Upon a stone a rune of light, the nescient pall put up no fight, but in the light to die the raven faded. Catania drew her sword again, her dagger always its best friend, what fornications frolicked near to know. For in the night adultered blades who knew would thus they misbehave, such, such secrets ere to keep and thus forgo. For in the scabbard and the shield such secrets thou wouldst not bequeath. In stowage would such blades, blades thus frolic light. For what in stowage would transpire, in stowage stowed indeed required. No, indeed they frolicked with some might. What hilts in hand and yet to sing, with knowledge thus her blades did ring. What frolics pass but practice ere to be. 
What passed between adultered blades but indiscretions, souls to save, for prying eyes to wonder, not to see. The rightness of her hilts to feel within her hands a pact to seal, familiar balance air to come to grip. Her nipples hard and nostrils flared, crossed my line, O oh, raven dared, her edges singing, ringing, hilt to tip. <laughs> 